Hello. Oh, this is a bit of confession time. I've got a bit of a problem. I have got this massive box. It's ginormous. It's about five inches tall. Chock a block full. It's a good size. Chock a block full. And it's so heavy, it won't sit in its container properly yet. I have two of these. So I want to use up some of these scraps. The last time I did that was a long time ago, actually. I made an actual um, art journal out of it, which I've never used because I love it so much. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use, I've run out of till roll. Let's move this out of the way. I've run out of till roll. Well, I haven't run out, but I'm nearly running out of till roll. I'm also extremely low on my collage papers, which I like. I use tissue as the base. Then I collage, sew, stamp, paint, everything. Draw, everything. So I'm going to use, I'm going to make some more of those. I'm going to make some more of this. So this session is about both of those. So I'm going to tear up some papers and then I'll be back. So here we are, got quite a few that are all nicely collaged Ooh. and now I'm going to, I mm, can't decide whether to paint, I'm going to paint next I think, so bear with when I get that all sorted. I've got a little bit of cream, so just a bit of yellow mixed in with white, I'm just filling in the gaps where I've got some to make a little bit more interesting. I don't need to do a lot. I put a bit of paper behind the background. I don't think I need to do an awful lot of painting, to be honest. Um, just wondering whether to do some stenciling. I think I've got enough going on without that. And to be honest, the pages that I use it on, I usually do a lot of stenciling anyway. Let's see. Move this. You need a lot of space to do this. This is a slight problem. Right. Now, a bit of a gap there. Actually, it doesn't matter leaving gaps, to be honest. Because by the time you've added some stamping and some sewing, you do tend to get filled. good all right let's let that dry and then we can do some stamping okay so here we are so far rather nice now I've got need to add some sewing next but this is what we have the ink's still a bit damp but that's lovely now I'm going to sew it right so here we are I've sewn you can see on the back more clearly where I've sewn I've actually used a lilac color thread but it's just looking like white and here it is it's nice and secure now I'll just tear off a piece as I require to add to my journal pages. I love adding little bits of this because it just is an instant, instant bit of collage on your page with texture, with colour. 
brings a little extra punch to a page I feel and I love it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some washi tape and I'm going to just stick this down on here and I'm going to wind it onto this bobbin you don't need a bobbin a stick will do I think before I had a, had a bobbin I had a stick Let's wind it on and then I can just use it as and when I need it there we go that's on Urgh, tight and then I'm going to pop this round Let's hold it in place but I'm and to make it look pretty because it's a pretty ribbon but gosh whew, that's tight I didn't realize I'd done so much there we go that's very useful isn't it I shall be using that you'll see that in upcoming videos I'm sure right so now I'm going to make some of my collage papers this is what I do I know you should tear them up and this is what I have left that'd be great on um, a journal page don't you think there's another one here somewhere this one I did on a purple theme. So it's got a bit of collage, a bit of sewing, a bit of stamping, a bit of drawing and a bit of paint underneath that, I think. So we're going to make some more of those. I'm going to show you what papers I use. I do use some rather cheap tissue paper, which isn't brilliant, but I quite like it because it lets what's underneath shine through a little bit. But I also love to use this rice paper. Well, it's called calligraphy paper. Can you see it all? Isn't it beautiful? I buy this on Amazon. So, and it's called calligraphy paper in case you're wondering. And this is a lot thicker, but still fairly transparent. It's hard, slightly harder to tear, but not impossible. So I really quite like it. So I'm going to use a bit of both. I'm just going to do one or two on video. Well, probably just one on video so you get the idea. So I'm just going to use just glue stick to glue them down and I'm not going to be too worried about color schemes I think the, these colors all work well together anyway sort of pinks and greens and neutrals so I don't think I can go wrong with those so let's move these out of the way actually let's put these to the right of me and oh we'll start with this little beetle shall we so basically you just shove some bits and pieces down however you like I'll oh, tell you what else I like to use. I like to use Lisa's Serious Hecker on YouTube. She does some beautiful dyed deli papers. Now she's doing them to order. So if you go to her channel uh, from there, you can find the link probably to her Etsy uh, or to contact her directly through her website. I don't know. And order some because they're blooming lovely. I love them so much. I might have to get an order in, I think. I might have to do that. So obviously I'm using larger pieces on the art, on the um, collage papers because I can, <laughs> because I want to. <laughs> And now I'm going to add some paint just here and there. It's partly to tie the pieces together and partly for added interest. Oh, that's resisting it slightly, that's interesting. Right, that's the paint done and dried, and now I'm going to do some stamping. So I'm just using jet black. Stays on. Got a little bit of text here I'm going to add. Just here and there.
and here we have it so I've used a pink thread so it shows up quite nicely I can use black as well I've used my green thread as well in, in previous ones I use I think I used red on this one yes I used red on that one but now I could just tear bits off as I wish and I love it so let me know if you make some of these yourself as well you'll have fun I tell you I quite like doing this just for relaxation sometimes anyway that's the end of this video I'm gonna make some more of these thank you very much for watching see you soon come back Saturday for our next art journal prompt of the week bye